What's up everybody? Welcome back to Antique Roadshow. And in today's episode, I'm going to be upgrading my 16 gigabyte random access memory uh, to 32 gigabytes in my HP Omen uh, custom PC. Let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna have to identify on the motherboard here uh, where to place the card. So as you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte HyperX uh, DDR4 type. Uh, random access memory card and next to it is an identical port so I'm going to be fitting it with uh, an identical card uh, from HyperX also a DDR4 16 gigabyte card so as you can see here uh, I'm gonna need to gain access to the motherboard by removing this uh, glass panel uh, from the PC so that I can get into the workings of the computer and uh, get busy with it and as you can see here there is a insignia uh, stamped to the glass of what looks to be a hammer, so that's what we're going to be using to gain access to it. Alright, so now that we're in there, we're going to go ahead... Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to turn off the computer first. Okay, so the computer is off. Uh, the power supply has been unplugged, so that way there's no chance of any sort of uh, inadvertent discharge going on. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, start working on getting some of this out of the way so that I can go ahead and get in there start uh, removing this stick. Now you see guys, I actually am kind of glad that this is uh, part of the installation steps uh, provided by HP because this uh, GPU here was starting to get kind of dusty and I honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I had to install another uh, RAM stick in order to run Microsoft Flight Simulator, then I probably wouldn't have even tried to gain access uh, to all of the components here so okay so, okay so now what I've actually gone and done here guys is um, oh there's a little piece of protective material there I, I wish they'd make it a little bit easier to do this but you know it's it's a process that I think will evolve over time so uh, what I've gone and done here guys is I've turned on the flashlight because um, I want you guys to be able to see because I, I really really care a lot about you guys and, and, I, and I don't want anything bad to happen to you guys like ever um, so as you can see uh, we've got the ramp stick here with the uh, logo kind of for reading it you would be facing that that way with it um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, install uh, the new component um, as such because I it, it I'm guessing it should probably be that way so we're just getting we're just gonna get right up in here um, that oh that goes up I wonder if this one goes down uh, yes it does wow okay cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and slide that right in there uh, as such um, if it'll ever go slowly but surely with lots of patience there it is uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and clip that down and uh, doesn't actually stay in there um, so okay guys so what I've discovered here is that it turns out it just requires a little bit more effort in it a solid uh, bit of harumph and you will either get an audible click or you will see these clips uh, these little tabs rather uh, fall into place down here uh, if you just really keep at it and go at it for uh, there we go look at that and it's clicked into place and this one is clicked into place they are flush with each other as you can see uh let's go ahead uh add the power supply back boot up the pc and see what the stats look like okay now so what it is that we are seeing upon startup here is that uh windows uh has recognized i think uh that there is now another memory card uh added to the system so it needs to update itself in order to uh... okay and now that the system is back up and running we are going to go ahead and open up run and run a direct X diagnostic uh, on the system so that we can verify uh, what the system is running at now and as you can see here we ha now have approximately 32,000 megabytes of RAM, which is uh, 32 gigabytes of random access memory. Now it is complete. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tech tips.